convinced that everyone knows about sticks. A part of that knowledge is from our deep ancestry. Well, don't you think it's very childlike? It's magic, it's magical, it's out of our storybooks. It's like we're having a kid's dream here. <laughs> well, I think of myself as a sculptor, and you know, that I use sticks and branches to, as my material to work with. You know, we have a deeper resonance with it. Almost everybody knows about sticks. Kids know about it. A lot of the, uh, adults are uh, closet stick collectors. In other words, we're all hunter and gatherers in, our, in a kind of a shadow life. And our ancestors sent with us the information about this, how to use this, uh, these saplings. You know, making primitive faces is just part of all cultures. I was speaking a, a little bit about the green man and that mankind is, was born somehow out of trees and that somehow we're, our spirit is out there roaming around in the woods and, and just sometimes is personified by a grouping of leaves and limbs in which we look in and we see uh, a kind of reflection of ourselves. Just across it like this. It's a bit like a, a certain kind of drawing style there's a kind of a feeling of movement that's created in the surface. Yeah. Come in here and go across okay. it like that. So that it doesn't have to be too elaborate. You know? Got the that, huh? Is you want to come <laughs> it welcomes the community. You know, I mean, not all projects can you just walk in and start working on it. You know, even if you make a little change or something, he really respects and values what you're doing. I think a good sculpture is one that causes lots of associations in the viewer. So sometimes it's a childhood tree that you knew, or a bird nest that you've seen, or an indigenous tribe that you've been to see or read about. You want to capture people's imagination. And uh, these big trees behind me are kind of source, uh, certainly for humanity and our well-being. <laughs>